I just got done watching Flora and Sun. This is a brand new Apple TV exclusive. It's going into theaters for a little bit, but it will be on the streaming service at the end of September. And well, I've been very excited for this movie for a lot of different reasons, but not because of what the film is about, because I didn't even know what the film was about going in. I never even saw a trailer. All I knew was that Joseph Gordon-Levitt was in this big fan of his but John Carney was directing and writing this now if you don't know what that name is you might not even know what I'm about to mention but his last film that I saw was Sing Street one of my favorite films of like the last 10 years and when he had made that movie the year it had come out that was my most rewatched movie I absolutely loved Sing Street you can probably see it behind me but Ever since then, I was like, whatever this guy does next, I'm on board. I don't even care what it is, and he has done it again. I'm actually even tempted to say that I think I might have liked Flora and Son even more when it comes down to its thematical levels, and specifically with what John Carney does with music in this. Which is saying a lot, because when you look back at Sing Street, Sing Street had an incredible soundtrack, incredible music, and the way that the music tied in thematically to the entire story really works. And this is what John Carney does so well, is crafting beautiful musical odysseys that very much, while the film is not, in a sense, a musical, its music tells pieces of the story connects characters, connects situations and emotional distress and emotional sequences that make people come together. And I think this is one thing that a lot of us don't really realize in life is how much these forms of art can connect us. Whether it's movies, TV, music, all these things connect us. And the fact that John Carney is using music through a movie to connect human beings is something that I find to be some of his strongest feats as a director and writer, and you feel that tenfold within this movie. But what is Flora and Son is about? So it follows Flora, a single mom who is at war with her son Max, trying to find a hobby for Max. She rescues a guitar from a dumpster and finds that one person's trash can be a family salvation. She ends up taking guitar lessons from Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, and it all goes from there. And I'll be flat out, when the film did start, I wasn't really feeling it. I, I love the opening, get you right into it, but then right after that, I found it to be a bit generic. And I think some people could maybe say that some of John's films on a story level are a bit generic. They're similar. You've seen them all before. But I've always found that any other film that I've ever seen of his never felt that generic right off the bat. But they've always been very consistent throughout. This movie, the first 10, 15 minutes aren't, aren't rough. It's just I've seen it all before. After that, the second Joseph Gordon-Levitt comes into play here, and you start to really understand Flora as a character a bit more, that is when this film won me over. Then the music kicks in, and you start to understand these characters a bit more. And for only in like an hour and a half film, you get so much development with every single person involved to even the most minute details that I think you will find a character that speaks to you. And I know there are a lot of films where a single mother is trying to raise their son and I think sometimes the son character can be a bit annoying in those categories. And at first you can definitely feel that with your, till you start to see what he's going through. And I, I just, again, Flora and Son really spoke to me on such a heartfelt level. And a lot of that can come from the music. Because I think the music is so well-crafted and very much well-written that the way that the beats, the lyrics, just all speak to you to the point to where you get to the, f to the finale of it. I found myself actually emotionally riveted and in tears. And then it made me look back at the entire rest of the film and it made me go, I want to rewatch this film right now. And I think a lot of that, again, I keep speaking to John as a director and writer and how wonderful he is, but a lot of that can also go to the performances. So I want to talk about Eve Hewson, who plays the main character, Flora, in here. She is fabulous. She is fantastic in here. Her voice is serenading and amazing, the way that she embodies herself. She, and this is very tough, is that out of all John's movies that I've seen, this is the most unlikable character right off the bat. 
but they easily make her relatable and understanding. And that's hard to do in a film like this. And if usually in categories like this, I could see a lot of people turning away pretty fast. But there's this sensibility that the performance is given from Eve that you just feel like you understand her, you know her, maybe you know something's going on, maybe she's not the best person, but you can at least get where she's coming from. And I was really impressed with how they handled that. And alongside that, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is phenomenal in this. He's spectacular. I think Eve gives one of my favorite performances of the year, personally. I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt is just fantastic in the supporting role. I think their chemistry is fan phenomenal. And I really love how John actually framed a lot of their sequences because he lives in LA, Eve lives in Dublin. And all of her classes are online, but the way that he moves the camera and shifts it to Eve's perspective on feeling like he's just there in the room with her. And that framing of having him be all on the laptop and then all of a sudden be in the room with her gives this instant charm and again connection because a lot of John's films are all about connection and this film is very much about bringing connections together, harmonizing, fixing connections, and even fixing ourselves and figuring out where that is all from. Mending a relationship between two loved ones, whether it's mending a relationship between a son and a mother or maybe even mending a relationship within ourselves and how one person who's being fixed can maybe affect someone else's life for the better, which comes to be both of theirs. And with that, Oren Kinlan, who plays the son in here, is also great, um, phenomenal. Very subtle and subdued performance, but it just breathes realism and realisticness. And Jack Renner is awesome. Uh, I, I think he's just really proven himself as an actor over the last few years. If I were to give a slight to the film, I wish they touched on his character just a bit more, but I think they did enough with him to very much impress me all the way through. That's why I fell in love with John Carney's Florence Son. I don't have a lot more to say. It's a beautiful musical odyssey that starts off a bit generic but quickly finds its heart and soul. Henson delivers one of my favorite performances of the year, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt is phenomenal. This is Carney showing how important music is to our lives and what it can do for so many when it comes down to actually connecting human beings with one another. You know, I had the digital screener to watch this at home. I was planning, okay, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to come do this review. And I was so exhausted by the time I got to watch this screening that I was just ready to go to bed. But the film ended. And when I love a film so much, no matter if I had little issues here and there, like I mentioned, I found the, the opening a little bit generic. I, I literally got up and I was about to get ready for bed and I was like, I need to go talk about this movie. I need to go talk about this movie right now. I don't need to edit the video. I just need to go into my studio and ta start talking about a movie that I'm heavily passionate about and that is Flora and Son. This is one of my favorite films of the year. Again, if you told me off the first 15, 20 minutes and had me stop it and be like, where do you think this is gonna end up? I would be like, it's probably gonna end up being a decent movie, but probably a little bit of a disappointment to me and it ended up not being that. The music just really swept me off my feet. I love it. I can't wait for the soundtrack to go on Spotify. So with all that said, I'm gonna give Florence Sun an A minus. Thanks so much again guys for watching this make sure to hit that like subscribe button comment down below your guys thoughts what's your favorite john carney film and let me know down below if you've seen sing street if not you absolutely should and make sure to check out florence sun in theaters and if you missed it in theaters it's on apple tv now you should absolutely go check it out again apple tv at the end of september you're probably that's probably when you're gonna end up watching this review let's be honest if you're not that's cool thanks for being here early but of course until next time stay classy